Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Father Growley. I'm Father Trace Browning from All Saints Church in Salt Lake City, Utah. So you might be able to tell uh, what our story tonight is about. Father Growley is here with a couple of his fish friends. One's a little blue stuffed fish. This fish actually is ceramic. It happens to be a whistle. A very nice sound for a fish. So uh, tonight our story is called The Rainbow Fish. It's uh, by Marcus Pfister, and it has just beautiful uh, illustrations, some wonderful colors. So we're very excited to share this story with you tonight. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. Translated into English by Allison James. This is read by permission of Simon Schuster Publishing. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. Look at those beautiful gills. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, very proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. He was very proud and didn't want anything to do with the other fish. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. There's a little blue fish. You, you want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. And shocked, the little blue fish swam away. Look, the little shocked blue fish. The blue fish was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. And from then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. And they turned away when he swam by, which is what they now did. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful, he said. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The color is beautiful in this book. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I, 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 I can't, the rainbow fish started to say but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please, please don't be angry. I just wanted one little scale. 
The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among all his blue ones. And a rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scales glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone saw the little blue fish, and they wanted a glittering scale, too. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him was now filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Look, all of them have these little scales he's giving away. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most pri prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very, very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash. I love that. He was happy as a splash. He swam off to join his friends. And that is the story of the rainbow fish. We hope you enjoyed the story, The Rainbow Fish, by Marcus Pfister. It's a wonderful story, and um, it teaches us a couple things. One is, uh, when we share, when we do things for others, when we give things to others, it often makes us happy, and sometimes that's kind of a surprise. It certainly was for The Rainbow Fish, by giving something to others, something that was important to him, by doing something for others, that's often a way we find we can become happy ourselves. So uh, think about how you have helped others, what that made you feel like, how you have felt when others helped you and did things for you. Uh, the other kind of fun thing is think of a time when you were happy as a splash. Um, and uh, we've got our little bluefish friend tonight and uh, we're about to sing a song for you. So this song is uh, called Alleluia. It's the Easter season, and some of you may know that in the, the church year, during the season of Lent, we, we don't sing or say Alleluia. We kind of put that on hold until Easter time. It's now the Easter season, so we're going to sing Alleluia. The, the words are pretty simple, and um, if you know them, you are welcome to sing along. Alleluia. the wind that moves across 
So before we do our final prayer or blessing, um, we thought of something else to do, and that is uh, each week during story time, we're going to choose a little scripture, a little quote, some little saying for you to remember, and it will fit our story. So this one comes from uh, Jesus. It's found in the Gospel of Matthew. Very simple. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Jesus was talking to all of his followers, and he said, you are the light of the world. What you have to give, it can light up the whole world. Uh, and certainly the rainbow fish did that. He lit up his friends around him. And uh, know that you have something that can light the whole world. So here's our final prayer. And it talks about the, uh, the oceans and the waves. So it's a good prayer for tonight. May the deep peace of the ocean's waves be with you. The deep peace of the flowing air be with you. May the deep peace of the quiet earth be with you. The deep peace of the shining stars be with you. May the peace of God be with you, this night and always. Amen. Good night, everyone. May God bless.